You're supposed to drive faster if you see the uh, four-legged animals. Moose? Yeah, moose will kill you. Everything moose else will kill you. Fun. If you drive slower, you're going to hit it anyways, and that moose is going to come right into your windshield and kill you. But if you hit it fast enough, you might give it enough energy that it goes right over. I don't have a license. I've never, I don't drive. No idea what I'm talking about. Well, one year and five months ago, I proclaimed that I was starting a clothing company and the first product would be a raw salvage denim jacket. And one year and five months later, I'm driving to Canada from New York to go pick up the jacket from Naked and Famous, the manufacturer. After this six part vlog series, the jacket will be available on the ironsnell.us and there's only 100 of them and 500 people. Actually, since then, 800 people. Actually, since then, 1,000 people have signed up. So I'm adding two things to give away. Well, three things. One of these pins each. I'm gonna go broke if I keep giving away. So you should sign up too. Also, you should sign up because I'm giving away two jackets. One to someone who has signed up for the email list and one more to someone who follows the Iron Snail Instagram and is subscribed on YouTube. And they will be special edition and unlike any other jackets in the run. Although I may sell like three more on the website for like $500. So. They're, hopefully they're cool. Oh, that's crazy. Hello everyone, welcome to day three of driving to Canada to get the denim jacket that is starting my clothing brand, the Iron Snail. I have to prep to go on a boat today because Brandon from Naked and Famous, who I've never met in my life, invited me on his boat. So I have to do that, I have to shower. He said text him sometime in the morning. I was like, okay, if I wake up at nine and shower. Oh. I have two boats now. It may seem like I didn't plan this Canada trip, and that's because I was just so slammed with work before I left that the only planning I did was I added a calendar event on Thursday called Go to Canada. So I'm ill-prepared, but I'm ready to sw- Pardon the brief interruption. Can you film a quick ad for me? Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, I'm back. I have the jacket and everything. This is way later. But this video is sponsored by Huckberry. Specifically today, the Well and Swim shorts. They're amazing. 92% polyester, 8% spandex. So it has a little bit of stretch. Quick drying. They look great with a button down. And they are on sale. Regularly $78. Now they're $58. Your hand is shaking more than I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, it's because I'm holding my side. So check them out, Huckberry. Please visit my link. I'm now tracking all of the links so I can see what happens and who clicks. Well, I can't see who, but I can see who clicks. So, I'm drinking chicken broth that my grandma made out of a Dunkin' Donuts cup. Taylor's gonna be in some vlogs later. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats and welcome back to day three of a six part vlog. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Meet Brandon Spark, a third generation jean maker and the owner of Naked and Famous, one of the most well known raw denim brands of all time. Oh, hi. I'm Michael, nice to meet you. Ruby, this is my friend Michael. Hi, Ruby. Where's mommy's phone? Mommy's phone? Here. Brandon is often nicknamed the Willy Wonka of denim. That was a pretty good bump. She's <laughs> My grandpa was driving, mm -hmm. and he went again? so fast yeah. over a bump. Okay. And we went Ollie, like. Why don't you take mom's place? Ruby wants to go again. No. I'm with Oliver. Oliver, what's up? No, nothing much. I'm. I'll go another time, and you know what? I don't really know. Yeah, me neither. I will save you. Oh. <laughs> it scares me. Can you see it? We're trying, Oliver's filming, thank you Oliver. We're trying ketchup chips. Oh, weird. <laughs> They're delicious. You'll never guess it. They're chips that taste like ketchup. How's it look? Okay. Is it nice and straight? Yeah. Good. Wait, but we also have to stay down here. Ruby, let's go up. Can you see far away? Yeah, I see, go, pull the trigger. Oh, just missed. Check this out. Oh yes. Whoa, Made okay. Made out of uh, squirt guns? hundreds of, yeah, many, many squirt guns. Wow. We are working on some uh, denim origami. This is uh, Selvage Chambre. I can show you one that I made upstairs. I have lots of uh, fabric stiffener. That's what it's called, fabric stiffener. What's the name of it? Five gallons stiffy. I do five gallons of stiffy. Oh, wow, okay. Out of denim. But. It could have been better. I could have made. I could. I should have made the leaves bigger. Orange. Yep. I'll do a yellow. Oh. Learning how to make origami. Lotus flower. Lotus flower. Hana. 
Hana? In Japanese, it's flower. I'm not trying to say lotus flower, but Hana is flower. It also means nose. Start with your color side down. You have to find the center. Find the center. Fold all corners into the center. Step two, very easy. Yep. Fold all points to the center again. Fold all corners to the center. Flip over. Fold all corners to the center. We're going to come back here and you pull the pedal up. While I'm pushing with my thumb and I pull the pedal up. Okay, okay, I got it. Oh, boom. Nice. Now do that like I'm pulling and then I'm just pop it. Push left thumb, okay. pull it out. Push with the left thumb, pull it out. And if, if it was perfect, it's a 10. How close to perfect is yours? <laughs> then this is a seven. And then mine. Yours is a first attempt, so it is ex it is rated excellent. You could you could give it out of ten. Out of ten, I'd, I'd say three. <laughs> I'd give it an eight and a half out of ten. All right, and what would you give this one out of ten? Your dance. Uh, an eight and a half out of ten. Nice. Right, so they're the exact same. Bye. Bye. See, it's totally natural. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See you next time you come here. See you next time. This is the first time I actually met Brandon. I talked to him on the phone once. I usually talk to Bayzet. And I feel like we were best friends. Okay, I gotta call Bayzad, fix my boy band hair, but just look at this place. I don't even think I mind wearing them with shorts. All right, time to go. I really hope they remember I don't eat meat. What do we got? So today we have some poutine, which is a French Canadian delight here. If you take a look at the plate, we've got the French fries, we've got cheese curds and meat gravy on top. First poutine, I'm pretending that there's no meat in it, but there probably is. So we'll see if I get sick. Maybe, there's probably Maybe. no meat. Who knows? No, there's no meat, there's definitely no meat. I'm going to get a bagel. I have been told that the bagels here are better than in New York. Oh, permanently closed. These are, how old are they? Elephant five. Oh, uh, they got like about a year of wear. A year? No, sky blue. One of these summer, summer, summer sky, whatever, I don't know. One of these light blue denim. Super guy fit, so skinny fit. But like for some reason, somebody accidentally produced like 60 size 40s. They put uh, a really? zero or I don't know, whatever it was, they just, we made like a, a gajillion size 40s. <laughs> so we have, we still have them in stock. How, how do you sell this? Like, you know, even if ours like, you know, offered to like our wholesale customers and be like, hey, you can get a, like a special deal on this. Oh, what sizes do you have? 40. Only size 40. It's a, it's a, it's a good for This is like our final goodbye walk around time in Canada. This, I didn't go to the thrift shop today, Baze I did, here's a quick thrift run. Yeah, so we got uh, this run. this uh, colorful character over here, uh, Barney. I don't know what cartoon he's from, but uh, it, it is a old uh, Pepsi uh, collector series, 1975. This is before my time, 1979, so I don't know what this character is, but it's some kind of fry-making robot. Wait, when I multi-fry, you'll get a surprise. Baze says that every morning. Yeah. We got uh, Memphis, Tennessee, home of the Cotton Carnival. The nine to five survival cup. So, uh, I like cups. Michael. <laughs> Great to actually meet you. Likewise. Great to actually Very meet you. Very nice to meet you. Great to actually meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, see you then, man. Great to meet you. All right, I will see you all. Well, I'll see yeah, you we'll two see in you New soon. York. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. see you two next time in Canada. Just a bunch of nice Canadians back to Canada. <laughs> uh, I'm sad. They're my friends. We're good friends. This just is something I hope to remember, and hopefully if I watch it on these vlogs later, I will remember this feeling. But I'm just driving through some random, small town in Canada, listening to music with the windows down. It's 68 degrees. And I'm just, I'm having a lovely time. to try and keep the camera really still but these are all the stars outside of the Airbnb they have everything to make a lovely little tub of tea except tea they don't have any tea so I might just heat up water oh dear I keep doing that thing where I say I'm gonna do something like oh, I was gonna make the tea and then I change my mind I was gonna make tortellinis and then I fall asleep so whoops I guess that's the end of the video Next week's a very important video, and the week after that is also very important.
Tchau, see you soon.